the female candidate find for the position of the chairman of Abuja Municipal Area Council under the platform of the National Rescue Movement, Mina Hosfor has expressed disapproval towards the discrepancy of the tag worn by members of the ruling party during the election process in a polling unit. The former beauty queen made this known after casting a vote in a polling center at the Baja Estate in Zone 4. She said she noticed that the tag worn by APC polling agents is different from the ones other party polling agents wore. The uh, fingerprint wasn't working, so they had to use the uh, picture to do that, which was a bit difficult as well, but eventually it worked. And that is actually one. And then I'm trying to understand why the APC um, polling agent tag is different from every other party. APC polling agent tag doesn't have provision for passports. Why do one for all the other parties have provisions? Yes, because that is the one that we know that INEC proposed and issued. So how come the tag for APC is different from others? I can't understand it. But according to some voters on ground, the tag wore by the APC agents were not assigned by the INEC. Mia also complained about the second polling center that was stationed at her polling unit. She said it was moved from another polling unit. Yes, because I don't understand why in the first place we have two polling centers in one polling unit. And from the look of things, it looks like the APC people are actually conversant with the other people. The, there's no reason why they brought it here, because I heard it was over there from it the box. Yeah, it's not supposed to be here, so why is it here? Meanwhile, observers who paid a visit to the polling unit were dissatisfied with the delay. They complain about the constant challenges that has bedeviled the Independent National Electoral Commission election process, which are logistics and accreditation. They hope INEC take into consideration the challenges faced in this election to ensure that same doesn't happen in the coming general election in 2023. Yes, yeah, so I am a registered voter in this polling unit. At Observer, you know, we don't also get to vote because of the work we do. And so at the start of voting, I realized uh, they, had a sp uh, they had challenges, first with setup of polling units, and second with verifying uh, uh, with verifying people's fingerprints. As we are seeing, even here we are, people are complaining about malfunctioning of papers, which is a very big challenge you know, to the process, in the sense that um, the expectation of the people is that with the new technology, the IMEX should have been able to improve you know, in, in deployment of technology. But quite unfortunately, that uh, things are not really working pretty fine the way we should work out fine. So I, I want to say that this is a good of call. The ICR noticed that the electioneering process progressed at a slow pace in most of the areas it visited. And this is due to logistical challenges as most polling units when already even at 8.30 a.m., the official time assigned by INEC. But security personnel were on ground to ensure that all goes well as they wait for the arrivals of INEC officials in various locations. Polling units in places like Zone 3 and 4 were seen getting ready at about 9 a.m. But in Area 10 polling units, some voters were happy to cast their votes even in the face of delay. Yes, uh, I'm happy that I'm here by 8 o'clock and before is some people are already here, which shows the enthusiasm they want in voting. And we have been here, we have been addressed by the uh, INEC officials or the coordinating people that the vote will start very soon and that by 2 o'clock, uh, 2.30, the vote will uh, close. And so far so good. Everything is going well. We started accreditation. So I'm just trying to go in now so I can get my own. Day.